Hello everyone, welcome to Mark and Gary on free. It's Sunday, which means a new video. Today's video isn't about the next step and it's something about myself instead. It hasn't been requested, but I thought it'd be a really cool idea to do a what's in my dance bag video because most dancers tend to do it and I do a dance degree at university. I actually left my degree, well, I, I didn't leave. I graduated from my degree um, a couple of weeks ago and that's really exciting. Um, I don't really know what to do in my life now other than film videos, edit videos and work. Um, but now that the degree is over, I'm obviously going to have to clear out my dance bag, ready to pack all my stuff away for when I move out of my university flat. Um, so I thought that I might as well have a look what's in there because I don't sort out my bag. Um, I generally, if I use the bag to go home with, so my home home, so if I go on the train, then I'll just take everything out of the dance bag and literally put it on my desk and then put my clothes in. And then when I come back, I just take the clothes out and put my dance things back in. I don't sort through them or make sure that I've got everything because, you know, as long as everything's in there, then everything's in there I don't need to sort it out really that's my you know mindset so yeah I'm just gonna dive right in and have an explore of what's in my dance bag so I've had my dance bag since my first year at uni which was in 2016 um I brought it because I can't remember what I had before that I think I just had a basic backpack before that and I found that you know, it wasn't very sporty and I, I kind of just wanted to refresh myself and give myself a new image. So I brought myself a sports bag. This is my bag. It's just a Lonsdale um, over the shoulder. I think it's called a duffel bag, is it? It's just a sports bag, basically. I got this from Sports Direct, which is a sports shop in the UK. Uh, it was relatively cheap. I think it was less than £10. I'll leave a link to it if it's still available in the description. Um, but yeah, I brought that in 2016 and it's held up really nicely actually. I'll still use it probably um, for my teaching jobs or if I do any dance things. Um, so let's start on the outside. I have some keychains on my bag. Um, this one says Lip Goals and Pom Pom Squad. Uh, it's from Super Drug. There was a pom pom. There was. A, there's meant to be a pom pom attached to this, on this little thing, but that's that's gone somewhere. Um, and this is a owl that I got off one of my friends because I danced in her dissertation piece and her dance was all about imprinting and a lot of it had to do with birds. So she gave us all a little bird. So I've kept it on my bag. Um, but inside my oh. Let's do the outside pocket first. So in the outside pocket of my bag, I've got, this is my university lanyard. I've got a little Ariana Grande um, perfume. This is the Moonlight Mini. A tin of Vaseline, because I kind of have a lip balm addiction. Not an addiction, but I, I like to know I've got a lip balm in every bag just in case I need it. Kind of like umbrellas and you know, things like that that you just might need. I've got, a bit of paper. Oh, this is the, um, it's for the studio. Uh, you type in the code to unlock the door. I've just got that in there. I've got some hair ties, which, because I'm a dancer, so you need some hair bubbles. So let's do the insides of the bag. I've got, first of all, this is my knee support because I have, what's it called? Patella tendonitis in my right knee. Um, which basically means that repetitive jumping, stretching, bending, it hurts basically. And my leg tends to not seize up, but it's very difficult to straighten it and difficult to bend it sometimes if I've been on my feet all day um, and if I don't kind of keep it moving. Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, that's just my knee support that my physio recommended to me. I've got... An umbrella this is my Harry Potter umbrella it just says Hogwarts on it and the inside is actually really cool because when it gets wet in the rain it actually changes color so it's very magical next I've got this pink netted bag which has shorts in it two little pairs of like booty shorts Um, this it also has my point shoes in because I don't have anywhere else to put them and um, we don't do point at uni and I haven't done it now since 2016 um, but yeah, I don't have anywhere else to put them, so they just stay in here. 
I've also got these are the ouch pouches things for the point shoes and these are foot thongs which I thought I might need so I brought them before I started uni but I've never actually needed them and um, foot thongs are just like what dancers put on their feet to help them turn better because they're not as like obvious as socks are because they literally just go around your toes and on the ball of your foot next I've got oh, some ibuprofen gel from Superdrug this is what I use for my knee just when it starts to hurt or I'll put it on before I know that it's gonna hurt um, just to kind of help it a little bit the same as ibuprofen tablets you know it's a painkiller so yeah next I have this little pouch which has a lot of just essentials in it I've got some allergy tablets because I don't really know what's wrong with me but I get random rashes like when um, I get I, I don't know just when my skin gets irritated I get a lot of ra rashes and that is either due to heat or being touched kind of being touched I'm allergic to people basically those tend to clear up pretty quickly they're just allergy and hay fever tablets um, I've got some plasters because you never know and yeah just all your essential stuff painkillers ibuprofen that kind of thing uh, next I've got my pencil case which just has a lot of pens in it because you never know when you're gonna need a pen even if you are on a dance course you know if you need to take a note of something or especially because it's a university degree um, we do take notes a lot which is why I have two notebooks in here as well this is my tiny one which I've had since first year actually Oh, this is my second year notebook actually because it's about physical theatre. I've just got a lot of my notes in here, like of how I choreographed my piece. So I've got a lot of drawings, diagrams, stuff like that. And then this one is what I brought for third year. This was for my dissertation. No, it wasn't. This one is for classwork, but I used it a lot for my dissertation notes and just, you know, when I found a book and I wanted to write down what I found in it. I'd use that book oh well those should have been in the netted bag but I've also got my leather flat ballet shoes they're just you know for basic ballet lessons that aren't on point we did use those but only this year because before that we were just allowed to wear socks or bare feet for ballet but this year they started saying that we needed to wear them because I, I think they just wanted it to look a bit better a bit more professional you know but I've had those literally since maybe I think 2014 and they still fit me so just use them. I've then got more painkillers, I've got ibuprofen just in case. Um, oh, I found the pom-pom from earlier, like excellent. Then I've got a pen that should be in the pencil case but it's not. I've got a cereal bar uh, because you never know when well, I, I like to just keep a cereal bar in there just in case, like, something goes over the allotted scheduled time or something and I need to eat. Or if rehearsals um, lapse over each other, then it's good to just have a cereal bar in between as you're going to the next rehearsal. It's better than having, like, a full-on meal or having nothing at all. But actually, I haven't had rehearsals for, like, three weeks now, so I don't know why that's still in there, but, you know, just in case. That's the running theme for this bag really, it's just everything just in case. I've then got my glasses case, which don't have my glasses in because they are... I don't know where my glasses are now. My glasses are somewhere, but they're not in here because I was wearing them literally 10 seconds ago. Uh, I don't usually wear them while I'm dancing, but it's just if we're waiting around a lot or I have to read something or we have a theory lesson, it's good to have them on hand. And lastly, I have my deodorant, which is a essential on a dance course. Um, I have this one in a different scent. I think it's just, this one isn't even in a scent. I don't really know why it's purple, but yeah, this is just the Mitchum deodorant. I like, I prefer roll-ons because I feel like I'm actually putting deodorant on rather than a spray, which I feel kind of just goes everywhere, like all over my armpit instead of just on the bit where I need it you know so yeah that's it everything is out of the bag that is the contents of my dance bag I'm now gonna shove 
all of this back in because you know it could stay in there a little bit longer until I actually want to sort through oh my glasses found them found my glasses so yeah that was me going through my dance bag and showing you guys what's in it I hope you enjoyed the video if you did then leave a like and a comment maybe you have a dance bag is there anything that is in yours that is it in mine or maybe I have that you're now going to go and put in your dance bag um don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next Sunday for a new video bye guys